Hello everyone, Epson Friend here, and we're back at the gaming table to do another solo match with Shere Khan, so stick around and check it out. So, here we go with Shere Khan. Now, uh, you might be saying, we already saw this before, you've already done a solo match with Shere Khan, and you are correct. However, I've made several errors and some, you know, minor errors, no big deal, but um, there were apparently some big ones I made and so I need to go back and redo it because if y'all need to, I, I want to make sure that I portray these solo matches as accurately as possible so that way if you're using them to study on how to play Shere Khan better or any of the other villains for that matter, um, I don't want to lead you astray with wrong things. Because God forbid you get into a game with somebody who knows everything that they're doing and then you try to do something you're like, well, you can't do that. And then you're like, but, 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 yeah. So I want to make sure you guys go out there as accurately as possible. So I please forgive me for the horrible solo match the last time. Um, yeah, because some things happened in there. Big things happened that I was like, oops, I probably shouldn't have won then like I did. I may have won eventually but we'll never know. So we're just gonna wipe the slate clean, kind of, and just do a fresh new batch. Okay. So we shuffled up here. And let's do it. Turn one. All right, sure, come on. Oh, goodness. Oh, right away. Okay, well, we want to get that card out there as quickly as possible. Alright, so for turn one, we're going to go out here, we're going to play, we're going to gain three. And for one, we're going to go in and get these monkeys out. And... Um, actually, I'm going to play them there. Okay, and I can activate them, but there's no point. And since I played a card, that act that condition will activate, so I'll do that at the end of this turn. But that's all I'm going to do. Um, yeah, we're not going to discard. Oh my gosh, look at that. Right off the bat, both of those cards. This is really bad news for people who aren't Shere Khan. Okay, so turn two, but before turn two, we're going to activate that condition card. And I may do any or all of these. Collect a power. Draw a card. And move a fire token. Well, there are no fire tokens, but I can do the rest. Oh, look, I got that condition card again. All right, so this is turn two. We're going to the wastelands. And for two. And then guess what? For five. Let's go ahead and do it. We're gonna play. Sure to pick up his trail, defeat a hero. If Mowgli's in your realm, if not, find and play him. There he is. I know Diego. I know. And we get to play a fire. We have to play a fire token to his location, since I am placing it. I'm placing it on that um, discard thing. So there you go. That is something that I believe you can do. No one, I haven't seen anything to the contrary. So y'all out there, look and see. But if you are Shere Khan placing fire tokens, like for instance this, you do have to put it in his location, um, but you can put it on any space, even the space that he's covering. I know, yes, Diego, it is. I believe that's right. So Diego's protesting. Okay, so, um, mm -hmm -hmm. so that's turn two. Now the faders are like, Oh, because all it takes is me activating those monkeys to get rid of them. And here we go. So let's see what happens with the fates. Oh, there's blue. Okay. And plus one. Hmm. Yep, it's blue. Good, good timing on both, both ends of the deck. Good timing. All right, so we're going to go here. We're going to place that there and cover up that activate action 
Even though he's just gonna go over there and activate. You know what? We're just gonna strip him of some power. Because if he wants to activate that quickly, he's gonna have to earn it. So, there we go. Turn three. Um... Yeah, because I have to pay one power to activate the monkeys. <laughs> so yeah, that, that's the that's the way to do it, folks. Oh, but I did play a card, which means that happened. Okay, so um, and I should have done that before I got faded. You know what? Since I missed it, I missed it. Um, okay. Well, we're just going to go over here, gain one, and, mm, excuse me. And that's it. <laughs> that's all I really can do. I could move the monkeys, but I don't want to. So, yeah. I would fate the other player that did this horrible thing to me. Okay. So, turn four, we're going to go back to the wastelands. And for two, or gain two, and then for three, we're going to play King Louie. And we're going to activate... No, we can't because we spent all our power. However, this happened. So this will happen before I get faded. Alright? So that's all I can do. I can play second card, but I have no power. So there we go. Okay. Before turn five, let's do the condition. Where's the condition card? There it is. Okay, so gain a power. Draw a card. And move a fire token to a new location, which I'm not doing. Yes, Diego, I know. He doesn't like it. I'm playing this, the, the uh, murder kitty. Because Diego's the only murder kitty. And he's very jealous. Okay. Yes, I uh, know. No. Okay. Now, now we're about to be faded. Oops, too many cards. There we go. Hmm. This is the way to go. Because I'm going to use him to move Magira. Or move Mowgli. And we're going to move Mowgli way over here. This stays. Um, but since I moved... Uh, Mowgli. I get to add a fire token to his new location. And he's also going to move these monkeys here. And this new fire comes in. And since I'm the Fator, I get to put it where I want. And we're actually going to put it right there and cover up any chances of him playing cards while he's there. Alright. So, yeah. Devastating fate so far, even though I got that card really, really fast. Um, hmm. Anyway, turn five. We're actually going to go here, and for zero, we're going to play Bravo, Bravo. Without performing a play card action, perform one covered action, which is the gain three power action that Blue is covering up. And then we're going to activate King Louie to move these monkeys back over here. Actually, I tell you what, we're gonna move them over there. I, I have reason for that. And then, since I didn't use my play card action for two, I'm going to play, or I'm sorry, never mind. Never mind. So I didn't really get to play a card, but that's okay. I don't have enough power to play the one that I want. Turn six. I will in a minute, though. We're gonna go here. Oh, oh, oh. We're gonna go back here. I'm sorry, turn six. This may not work out, but I'm gonna try it anyway. Watch this little combo. All right, so get my two power. And for zero and it costs no power no play card action um i'm doing actions that are covered up so i am using the bravo bravo to use this activate action that's covered up to activate these monkeys to get rid of this fire fire far as people say in my area far 
Um, now I can actually play a card, and for five, we're going to defeat Blue. That would be this card I just used. If Mowgli's in your realm, defeat a hero, which I did. Okay. Oh, and these monkeys are gone because I used their ability. <sighs> All right, so that was turn six. Not bad, right? Would have been better if I could have defeated Mowgli, but that's okay. Hmm. All right, so turn, that was turn six, so now we're about to be faded. You may move a hero to any location. You may move Shere Khan to a location with the hero. Choose a location. I get plus one. Yeah. In this instance, it's better to um, move Mowgli. And he gets to add fire. No, we're gonna cover that up. And what else happens? You may move a hero. Oh, then you may move Shere Khan to a place with a hero. Hmm. Nah, I'll keep him where he's at. Because if I move him to where there's a hero, it's either here or here, and there's really no point. So he could just move here and remove that fire if he wants to, or he could move to one of the power places and re renew his power, so. Anyway. Okay, turn seven. We're gonna go here. We're gaining three. And we're going to discard you. And for one, we're gonna play young and helpless. Move a hero to a location. Uh, with an ally, gain one power for each ally in the thing. Mm. Okay. So let's go ahead and move this there. That's what we'll do. Is that a good idea? Hmm. Actually, you know what? That's not really a good idea. Let's not do that. Let's just discard it. Give me my power back. Let's just discard it. It's not going to do any good. Because I thought about moving Mowgli, but if Mowgli's moved, he creates more fire. Now, why would you want to do that? Okay. All right. So, yeah, that's that's all I can do here. At least I got some power back. And I discarded. Okay. So, now let's do a little bit of this. Go here. Gain two. And for one, we're gonna play. Hey, cuz, where are the bathroom at? And we're gonna reveal cards from the top of my deck until I reveal an ally and then play that ally for free. Nope. There's an ally. And we're gonna put these monkeys right here. Or no, we're not. We're gonna put them right there. And then, that was my first play card action. And then for one power, I'm gonna activate them to get rid of that fire. That was just one play card action. Now for my second play card action, I'm doing nothing because I got nothing to play. Okay. Okay. Hmm. Yeah, once again, you would think to play that, but since this allows you to move Mowgli, let's just move Mowgli. And let's move Mowgli back over here and that puts new fire we're gonna cover up that play card action now is that right let me make sure i did this right another hero i'll play them there when played move vultures and that hero to another location does that mean they both have to go to the same location hmm that's I'm not sure. Um.
That, I may have to clarify that one. But for now, I'm just going to assume that they have to go to the same location. But it just says another location, so it would be nice if you can move them both to different locations. But I'm going to keep them in the same location for now until I get that clarified. Because if I'm wrong, then I still follow the rule. If I'm right, then you know either way, I'm still following the rule. Okay, at least it says on the card. But it says to another location, so... Anyway, we got the new fire, so that's what I wanted to do anyway with Mugway. I wanted to put him there. Okay, turn nine. Hmm. All right, let's go ahead and go here. We're going to discard this. And we're going to play for one. You shall inform me first. Reveal or discard the top three cards of your fate deck and then I may uh, Shuffle one card from your fate discard pile into the fate deck hmm. Keep it a nice even number so that way in the fade actions it's two and two okay all right so that's that hmm okay well Let's head over to, let's go ahead and head over here. Pay the two power, play. It's me, Shere Khan, to get rid of that fire. So it's at least it's out of the realm. And that's all I can do. For now. Turn 10. Let's go here. We're gonna move King Louie over there. Gain one. Hmm. And then four. Oh, wait. I forgot to redraw. And so I moved. I'm gaining one and I'm playing this card for one. Hey, cuz. There's an ally. I get to play it for free. I'm going to put them here. And say discard the rest. Uh huh. Okay. And there's Mr. Ka. Finally. All right. I did do this though. That happened. So at the end of this turn, I will use that condition. So let's draw back up. There's a condition. Uh, I may choose up to three cards from my discard pile and shuffle them back into my deck. Um, up to three. Hmm, okay. So I'm doing two monkeys and a hey cuz. Quick shuffle here. This is actually going on longer than I thought it would be. As soon as I saw both of those um, picking up his trail cars, I was like, oh, this is going to be over before you know it. Uh oh. Okay, the condition is over. Now it's time to be faded. Hmm. Hmm. So it's either discard the monkeys to keep that fire going or put more fire. 
Let's put more fire. And we're gonna cover up that activate action right there. Okay. Turn 11. Let's go over here. Gain three. In for two. We're gonna remove that fire token. And... Oh yeah, we're gonna keep that. Let's turn 12. Um, oh, wait a minute. Back up. Back up. Okay, so I played that, and now since I removed that, I'm playing one power, paying one power, to activate these monkeys. Which gets rid of this fire. And now for turn 12. Vanquish. Sure, Mowgli's dead. Okay, so there you go. That was, yeah, interesting. Might have been better to put the fire, as the Fator, might have been better to put the fire where Shao Kahn is, so that way he has to move away from it. If there are no monkeys there, he has to move away from it. But I don't know. You never really know if he has that card or not, so um, you gotta play, play the odds. So anyway, that's Shere Khan, folks. Um, he is also quite powerful as well. He can win really quickly, as you just saw a while ago. If, if everything had worked out a little bit better, he could win in probably, let's see, two turns to get that card out. So three, maybe even four turns, he could possibly win uh, if, if everything is correct in his hand. Okay, so here to get three, there to get two, that's five. And then, and he could play that in the same turn. And that's all he would have power wise. So he'd have to go back here to get three more to get enough power to be able to either, and then go over here to do the thing. Oh, he has to play an ally. The monkeys can do it though. So he could act, oh. Okay, so let's just say, gain three power, then come here to gain two power. Okay, he can't play the monkeys and disintegrate them back to back. Um, so yeah, he'd have to move away. So it'd be best to kind of keep him move it away. Maybe gain three more power, then come back, then do it. So what is that? One, two, three, four turns. About four, maybe five turns. Not three or four. Four or five turns. He could win the game. All right. So there you have it, ladies and gentlemen. Mowgli's dead. The jungle is safe from man cubs. And, um... So there we go. Hopefully that was a better solo match than the last one. Hopefully I did everything correctly. And I will see you guys next time. So this is your absent friend signing off.